Hello, I'm Ali Mir Husseini and with my friend Mehran Muharrari are going to give you a brief overview about our article entitled Thromboangiitis obliterans episode autoimmune flare-up or reinfection. TAO or Burger disease in an episodic non atherosclerotic segmental inflammatory and occlusive vascular disease that affects the small and medium-sized vessels of the extremities. Currently, TAO is most prevalent in the Middle East, the Far East, and Eastern Europe. The etiology of TAO remains unknown, although there is a close relationship between TAO and smoking. However, smoking explains neither the low prevalence of TAO amongst smokers, nor its geographical di distribution. The possible role of infectious pathogens in the development of TAO was considered soon after the disease was first described. However, it is not yet known whether infectious pathogens induce thrombotic vasculitis or if they cause a type of autoimmune disease. To investigate whether TAO relapses are more likely due to reinfection or autoimmune flare, following a cross-sectional study design, the serum level of TLR4, TLR2, CRP, and neopterin were evaluated in 28 patients in the acute phase of TAO and 23 patients in the quiescent phase of the disease. In addition, 31 gender, age, and smoking habit match control were enrolled. TLR4 was significantly higher in the patients in the acute phase of disease than in the patients in the quiescent phase. Notably, the TLR4 in the patients in the quiescent phase of TAO was significantly lower than in the controls. No significant difference in the level of TLR2 was found amongst the groups. Neopterin was significantly higher in the acute phase of TAO in comparison to the quiescent phase and the controls. However, no significant difference was found between the CRP levels in the active and quiescent phases of TAO. These findings could indicate that the trigger of TAO might be a gram-negative bacteria, which can be heightened or suppressed in the quiescent phase of TAO, leading to a lower level of TLR4 accompanying the normal level of neopterin. However, relapses might develop according to toxic or hypoxic cell injuries. Hence, the TLR4 shedding will increase, and therefore TLR4 could become closer to the level demonstrated in controls. The data of current study do not support the claim that TAO relapses are due to reinfection, but they do support the important role of infectious pathogens in TAO development. Further study on the possible infectious trigger behind TAO development are highly recommended to achieve improved disease management.